this is Yasmin's Learning Bell again. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Egyptian shimmy. Very used in belly dance. Now this shimmy, um, besides the basic shimmy that I showed you in another video, this one is done straight leg, but you want your legs to be soft. You don't want to lock them back into place. You want them to be straight, okay? Now, give yourself about a shoulder width of stance with your feet, okay? Now, remember that place that lift chest, the posture, the tucking that pelvis, okay? Arms out to the side, shoulders roll back. Now, before the Egyptian shimmy, I want you to put the pelvis, pelvis forward, okay? So you want to sit back here. Legs are straight for this. Feet are on the floor flat. You don't want your heels to come up at all. And I'm sure you remember the basic shimmy I showed you where you're bending and straightening the knees and you're softened into the knees, so slightly. And you're bending and straightening the knees. Now the Egyptian shimmy is they alternate from one leg to the other, but it is a straight leg, okay? Now, I want you to do small movements with your knees. Slice the bend straight, don't lock the knees back. Just keeping the legs straight, alternating one, two, one, two, right, left, right, left. Okay? Get that feel for that movement down first. And then you want to speed up a little bit. Now, the Egyptian shimmy is not about speed, it's about your source of control, okay? Your source of power. And it actually gives a nice effect on the belly button to move back towards the chamber. I can see mine too much without having my body stocking on, which I have a tendency to wear these a lot. It makes me comfortable. Now, bend and straighten the knees slightly. Keep the legs straight. I'm going to keep that, the stomach sucked in, the pelvic sucked in a little bit there. back and forth moving. Okay. Now, we do it together. Start slow. Slight alternating one knee to the other. Keeping the legs straight. Feet flat on the floor. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Speed up a little bit. the effect. The longer you practice, the better you will get at it. I don't know if you can see my belly button, my camera has zoomed in on it. Okay, now we're slowing down, we're going faster, slowing down. Depends on what the music is doing, how you want to use the Egyptian shimmy. It's really good for stage, for the stage, because it has a big, a big life, a small movement. Let's take a lot. You do not need to try to do the Egyptian shimmy extremely fast. It's about the control. Alrighty. This has been the Egyptian shimmy. I will be releasing a drill video on how to use the Egyptian shimmy so you can learn to practice on it quite well. Thank you. This has been Yasmin's Learning Belly Dance.